Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I'll be talking about the Tungabhadra Dam. The Tungabhadra Dam is also known as Pampasagar. It's constructed across the Tungabhadra River, a tributary of the Krishna River. The dam is in Hospet, Vijayanagara district of Karnataka. It is a multi-purpose dam serving irrigation, electricity generation, flood control, etc. This is a joint project of Hyderabad State and Madras Presidency when the construction was started. Later, it became a joint project of Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh after its completion in 1953. The main architect of the dam was Veva Krishnamurti, ISE engineer in chief from Hyderabad. It was constructed with a combination of mud and limestone. It is the only non cement and concrete dam in the country and has withstood the test of time for over 70 years and may well cross many more decades. The famine region of Rayal Seema comprising of the districts of Balari, Anantapur, Karnul and Kadapa attracted the attention of the British engineers as early as 1860. To, to relieve the intensity of famine in these districts, proposals were made in 1860 to utilize the waters of Tugabhadra through a storage reservoir and a system of canals to provide irrigation for the lands. Sir Arthur Cotton originally conceived the Tungabhadra project in the year 1860. The proposals were further modified and developed subsequently, evolving it into a joint scheme. The Tungabhadra project was formally inaugurated by laying the foundation stone on 20th February 1945 by Prince of Bearer. On the left side, and by Sir Arthur Hope, Governor of Madras, on the right side. The Madras and Hyderabad engineers were sharply divided on nature and mortar to be used in the construction of the dam, design of spillaway, design of overflow and non overflow sections of the dam, and contraction joints. These differences were referred to a board of engineers under the chairmanship of M. Viswaswarya, a statesman come engineer. Excavation in the riverbed started in 1947 and masonry construction on 15 April 1949. With the help of a coffer dam constructed earlier, Foundation excavation was continued during flood season also. By October 1953, the structures were completed substantially, enabling the storage of water in the reservoir up to plus 1613.00 feet. The cost of the dam and a Puritan works was rupees 16.96 crores. The water was let down into the canal on 1st July 1953. The river Tungabhadra derives its name from two streams, Tunga and Bhadra rise in the western Ghats. In this episode, I will show you the three phases of the river. The dam overflowed, the dam during the dry season, and the dam during the spring. Sit back and relax while enjoying the views of this dam.
like and subscribe to my channel make sure to click the bell icon see you guys later bye